Assertions are checkpoints or validation rules that Ready API uses to automatically validate API response and behavior. In SOAPIO ING Pro, we have about 25 to 30 different types of assertions that validate things from HTTP status code to schema compliance against a contract. In this video, we'll take a look at at least three different types of assertions. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. The first thing you need to be wary of is that you're not under the project section looking at your request to add a, an assertion. You do have to be under SOAPIO ING. Look all the way at the bottom of your request and you'll be able to see the assertions tab. You can expand it and click on the green plus sign to be exposed to all the different categories that we have. The first category that we see on here is property content. The property content assertions will allow you to validate different types of values within your response. We have assertions like contains that looks at the whole response and looks for a specific value that you expect. Or we have more prominent assertions that will look for specific elements in an XML payload or in a JSON payload. For this video, let's go ahead and take a look at the message content assertion. The message content assertion will look at every single element in your response payload and you could add operators to it. For example, this item element, I could say, I always expect it to be equal to or greater than 10. If it's underneath 10, if it's a number below 10, it'll fail. But we don't want it to fail, so let's leave it at 10. Next, we have compliance standards and standard assertions that validate things from schema compliance against the contract to HTTP status codes. In this video, let's take a look at the invalid HTTP status code so we can create negative tests. Let's say, for example, that we are not expecting a 200 OK message. In this case, we're failing because we do have a 200 OK message. Let's switch that back to something a little more realistic. Say 400, click OK, and we have a passing assertion because the stat HTTP status code is not 400. Back to our categories. We have a couple left. The scripting category basically allows you to write a custom conditional check using GroovyScript. JMS and JDBC assertions are specific to these protocols. Security will inspect for vulnerabilities that you may be exposing in your responses. Now that you know more about assertions, feel free to combine as many validation rules as you need to perform comprehensive check against your APIs.